Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven. Today's tutorial is going to be uh, making text look like paper. And uh, you can do this with more than just uh, type. You can do this with pretty much anything that uh, will look good if it was paper. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I'm going to make a new document. And I'm going to make it 400 by 300, I guess. And click on OK. And I'm just going to give it a quick background. So. I'm going to grab a bluish color. That works. And then just going to make it a little bit darker. And then just add a quick gradient background. Um, right, let's go with that. Well, that works. And then I'm just going to click on D to bring this back to the default colors. Go to my text tool. I'm going to make it white. And right now I just have this uh, Marriott Pro, and I just chose it because it's uh, it was a bold font and it looks pretty nice. Uh, I found out that this effect looks pretty good if it if the font is bold. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna write paper. Okay. So let me center that. I'm just gonna select the two layers and click center, and I'll center it horizontally as well. Okay. So to start off, I'm going to make a new layer above this and zoom in. And then we'll start on this lower right corner and I'm going to grab the pen tool which is right over here I'm going to drag click on this corner click in the middle and just drag so it has kind of a bending look to it hold on alt click there so it gets rid of one handle so it's a sharp turn and then click about let's see right here is good hold on alt again and then close it off right there Alright, then I'm going to come over to this paper layer and make a mask on it. Let me double click this and change the color just so we can see what it looks like, where it's at. Okay, so zoom in. Let me make this window a bit bigger. Okay, so I'm going to drag, the, uh, use this polygon tool. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to click on this. Close that. Come to the text mask layer and click on Alt Backspace, which will fill it with black. Deselect, and we have that. Doesn't look like much right now, but uh, make a new layer right under right underneath the shape layer, and click on D for black and white, the default. And I just have a brush that has zero hardness, and it's going to be rather small. So all I'm going to do is just paint right here, like that. It comes out of the lines, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to come on over to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And just, I have 4.2, you can just mess with it, whatever looks good. And I'll just go with that and click OK. Then I'm going to grab this Polygon tool again, and just draw around here. Close that off, and delete. Same with over here. Alright, then I'm going to uh, deselect, grab this eraser tool, and again, zero hardness, and then just change the brush size and erase a little bit from the top. That was a little bit too much. And then lower this opacity a little bit, double click this again, change it white, and if you zoom out, you can see the look that it's given it. So zoom back in, just going to select these two layers and control E, which will group those together. Alright, so let's do this again. One more on this R. I'm going to make a uh, new layer. I actually probably didn't have to do that, but whatever. Grab the pen tool again, and I will select right here. Here, curl it in. Alt, hold down Alt, click there. And then right here, hold down Alt, click here, and just bend it up just a tiny little bit. Okay. So uh, let's leave that black for now. Come on over to the mask of the paper layer. And then just select this. And then Alt Backspace. Control D to deselect. And then make a new layer right, under, right underneath the shape layer. Grab your brush tool. Paint that in. Filter and I'm just going to click Gaussian Blur up here. Um, and then do the same thing 
erase that shadow. Oops. Uh, it's not working. Okay, there we go. Delete and then grab that eraser tool again and just fix that up, make it a little bit neater. Should lower the opacity a bit. Double click this and make it white. Zoom out and you can see that what it's going with. So let's do something a little bit harder because that's rather boring to watch. Let me just group these together, make a new layer, and let's go on, come on over to this A. And I'm going to make this top fold down. So to do this, what I'm going to do is grab this pen tool, select here, draw this in. Uh, let's go up to here, or actually come down to about right here and then just bend it like that. Hold on Alt, hold on Shift, or actually don't hold on Shift, let's just click on it, sort of an angle. And then click about here and bend that in. Hold down Alt and select both of those and this might not look good. <laughs> uh, let's drag up a bit and Let's go to about here. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So let's uh, make a new layer underneath it. Grab your brush again. And let's just paint that in. Gaussian blur that. And just delete. I'll lower that opacity and then come on over to the paper mask and again alt backspace control D and we're going to need to delete the shadow from this part over here as well so select that come to the shadow layer delete control D Let's double click this go to white zoom out and there you go you can see it looks like it's folding over so one last step what I'm going to do is I went into Google and just type in, typed in crumpled paper. So I'm going to select that, right click, copy image, come back over to here, let me group these together, group that together, and group, actually let me duplicate this text layer just in case, and group those two. So then make one more layer above there, go to control V. And I'm just pasting that into there, holding down uh, Alt and Shift to scale it down. Hold down Shift to rotate it. Scale it down a little bit more. Okay. So then uh, hold down Control and select that paper. And then just add a mask layer. And you can see it erases it. Change this to Multiply. Zoom in. And there you go. You have a pretty nice looking paper, uh, paper effect. One thing you want to make sure you don't do is overdo the curls on there, or else it's going to look really fake. And well, if that's the look you're going for, go ahead and try it. But uh, I just like to keep it, you know, one or two for each letter, and it looks it looks pretty good. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. I'll see you next time.